Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the outdoors. I've got Mr. 30 with me today. We are officially the Game of Inches champion. We knew it. We, oh, we didn't know it. We had a good idea that we'd be have a pretty tough score to beat with the finish that we had. The white fish in my mind was like, even though we didn't need it, that was like the fish that just like sealed the deal for us. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that series today. We were hunting giant walleyes. I'm not gonna lie, we were definitely on one of our favorite lakes. Last Mountain, have an incredible cabin here. We're staying in. I'll leave the link below, so if you want to uh, come out to Last Mountain for multi-species action, which was in Game of Inches 1 and 2 of our video, this is a definitely a great location. Even though we're about to load up the Ranger and trailer for about probably a good 10 miles, because this lake is so big, there's just so many different options around here. I've also got this guy with me today. Carter Reed. So hopefully between the three of us, one person can put a big mama wally on the ice. That is the goal. Oh, it's not Cisco today. What's that? It's not the Cisco uh, event today. We oh we don't need we have our already oh. whitefish. We don't need a Cisco upgrade oh, anymore. I'm here for the Cisco event. You <laughs> burbot, you're the burbot man. <laughs> so Mark cruising here on the bottom. Looks like big too. I've only got one rod down right now because I just like I just dropped down. Right now, I'm going to get another rod tied up here. So I got floral in my hand and there's a big mark coming in right now. Oh my goodness, it's big too. It's big. I think he's gonna eat it out of the mud. Hi, maybe. Come on. Come on, buddy. Big fish. Eat it. I'm gonna drop it down. There we go. Come on. Here he comes. He's coming down to it. He's coming down to it. Come on, buddy. Where'd you go? Oh, that's if. Where'd you go? Man, that would have been an epic way to start my day. Like I just, I literally been fishing for 10 seconds. I just dropped down. Oh, okay. Fingers crossed that uh, he comes back or another fish of that caliber comes back. I should have kept him in the dirt. I should have just kept him down in the dirt. I like keeping him down low. I like keeping his big fish low. Mistake, definitely mistake, I think. It's okay. We won't make a mistake again. It's so hard to say. I'm just talking to myself. It's what I do. I always preach good, good knots, good floral. Redo your gear, right? Like, don't take chances. These opportunities don't come by very often, right? When you get a great big one hooked, you want to give yourself every opportunity to land that fish. Oh, 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 big fish, big fish. Oh my goodness. Nice, are you kidding me? That thing just comes straight in an eight. It comes straight up, I think it's big, but it just comes straight up. When they come up and they charge at you, it's so nerve wracking. It's so nerve wracking. And then big head shakes, it's nice. I don't know how big, that mark came straight in. I was on my phone because I'm probably gonna be on my phone lots today because there's lots of text messages about the whole game of inches and, and winning. Oh no, it's big. It's big. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, big fish. Oh, big fish, big fish, big, big, big boy. Great start. Unreal. Good start to the day. Unbelievable. I'm going with a different bait, a hyperglide from Acme. It's been one of my old time favorites for big, big walleye early. Oh geez, it's just gonna pop right out. Yeah, one of my favorite baits for big walleye early. We'll get a quick measure on because I think it's like 29-ish probably. Unbelievable, unbelievable. What a start to the day, what a start. No, not quite, 28 and three quarters, okay. One quick look, because I don't like keeping fish out of the water long. 28 and three quarters. Oh my goodness. 
That's it, right there. What a start. And super fast, not edited, in and out as quick as I can. Oh, unbelievable. And this is right here, Hyperglide from Acme, the biggest side, so this is a 10 gram. This fish, this lure, I feel like when it first came out, it was like lights out, everybody used them for ice fishing. They kind of faded out a little bit. But yeah, this has been a good one for me in the past. Can't go wrong with white, kind of matches the Cisco. Yeah. Awesome. That's why you get up early, right? That's why you get up early. What a way to start. Oh, oh, I was gonna change, I gotta change the battery on the main camera. And the fish is coming in. Come on, eat it, eat it. Yes, yes, nice. Just about to change camera, batteries. Man, when they charge straight up, it's a nice fish. Not a, not a giant, but a nice fish. What a nice fish, easy, stay button, buddy. Oh, I love watching them down there. Man, so good. Came in, oh, who says while I don't run? <laughs> I did turn my drag down a little bit just because he didn't fight very much. So I wanted him to fight at the, or I didn't want him to kind of thrash around at the hole. The great big walleye that I put out recently. I had the scariest fight of my life. I had 30 seconds thrashing around the hole. I did not want to make that mistake again. This is a nice fish. Like I said, not a giant, but nice. Was literally about to change the camera, battery. And yeah, he come in and crushed the hyper light again. Well, that's a good average size of fish, right? Easy, 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 easy. Okay, you'll notice that the bite's been finicky, so I did put a little bit of bait on the bite on the bottom of that hyperglide, but I really don't think it would have mattered for that fish at all, right? He was eating. Oh, just back hooked. Just. Okay, one more quick show off here. I'd say about a 26-ish, something like that. Yeah, 20, maybe 25, 25 and a half, I'll say. Beautiful, beautiful. Thanks for the, thanks for the good fight, my friend. That was awesome. Hyperglide, and like I said, I got a little bit of a bait right on the bottom there. Hyperglides are so neat in terms of the way they work. If you're not familiar with them, here, I'll show you in the hole. Their wings kind of just like kick out. Look how they just kick out, kick out, kick out, kick out, kick out, kick out. So with a bait like this, you can put some bait on it and you won't really hurt yourself that much because you're for the most part you're working it slow baits you're working fast out to the side where you want lots of action you probably don't want bait right i'm i'm torn right now with the bait on this thing but we'll see we'll try a couple more with it and uh we'll switch back and forth so talking i was talking in the middle of that fight about like how i loosen the drag so in a previous video i don't know how many videos back at this point I caught my new PB walleye and it thrashed around the hole for 30 seconds and I realistically probably shouldn't even have landed that fish. I kind of wish I would have backed the drag off just a little bit, but obviously when they're that big you sometimes just panic. It happens. So I thought here I'd just back the drag off a little bit because when you jack a walleye down there and we're in 25 feet, when you jack a walleye like that down there, he has so much upwards momentum and he just like, he kind of goes with everything, right? On that hook set, he just jack him up, he goes, he goes, and then like five feet below the ice, they go, okay, now we want to stop and try to fight a little bit, right? So I just didn't want him thrashing around at the hole. I'm not a big believer in fighting a walleye too long, period. I want to get that fight over with usually as quick as possible because they will spit a hook in that sense. The longer you spend uh, with a walleye on there, that lure can move around and it's just gonna create, it's gonna make that hole a little bit bigger and the hook can fall out quite easily, especially when it gets to the bottom of the ice. So I don't like to fight them that long, but I obviously wanna find that happy medium type of thing. I'll quit rambling now. Been using a hyperglide. Yeah. Yeah, that's what my, oh, oh, Carter. Oh, Carter. Oh, Carter. Oh, Carter. Are you oh, kidding? Geez. I'm here for this? <laughs> <laughs> 
Carter, you're such your good luck. Carter came to get his pizza. This fish is just charging straight up. It's a nice fish. <laughs> Carter, you're good luck, buddy. Oh, it's gonna come unglued, isn't it? Yeah. The hyperglide's working, like working well today. I have some more if you want one. <laughs> that thing that's charged straight in and just inhale. Oh, easy. 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 <laughs> Come on. I could grab them and scoop them, but I'm not too worried. Okay, okay. 25 inches? Uh, I'd say, yeah, 24, 25 probably. <laughs> I'll get the hook out first. Wow. Look at that. Like, it comes out, like, so easy, too. <laughs> Unbelievable. Get down here with me, Carter, because this is all you. This is all Carter. Good luck, Carter. I'd say 25 incher. I think charge straight in too. It's better to be lucky than good. She's tired. Okay, there she goes. <laughs> Look at it right there. She, I just saw her. She just swam like all the way right there. It's so cool to watch them swim away. Do you want a hyperglide car? Maybe. Okay. I don't have any more white ones, but I got blue and chrome, which has been a really good one for me. Well, it was cool to have Carter here for that that fish. We always fish separately because we're just spread apart a little bit and it just increases your chances of hooking into a, a big fish. Our goal is always is like for one person out of the group to try to get like a real big one, right? Like a 10 plus pound or something like that. So I'd love to obviously have Adam or Carter fishing with me all the time. And sometimes it can make the day a little bit boring when you're sitting here all by yourself, but it's what you got to do sometimes. Oh, there's a fish crawl on the bottom here. Let's pound the bottom right now. Come on. Nah, I just felt like him brush the line. Come on. Eat it, out of this, eat it out of that mud, buddy. Nice. I got him to eat it right down on the bottom. I was just pounding the bottom. And all of a sudden, I was like, geez. It's like there's just a mark appeared on it. If I'm not marking fish, a lot of times I'm either working way up high or I'm pounding down tight, tight to the bottom. Just another nice fish. Not big, not small. Just nice. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> Crazy when I can say that this is probably my smallest of the day, like a 23 incher, right? That's four quality fish today. And they're just built like rock stars. Love it. Love it. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. See ya. I mentioned when I was fighting that fish, it's like I'm either working sometimes up high when I'm not marking any, we're not, I'm not marking any fish, like like five to ten feet off the bottom sometimes maybe not quite ten feet maybe five five feet off the bottom or i'm like down right in the dirt just pounding mud creating sediment i think a lot of times those walleyes they come investigate when they see all that sediment flying around right and that all of a sudden that profile just appears and yeah that one once i started to mark it i noticed the bottom starting to flash i just marked it a little bit slower or worked it a little bit slower because i didn't want to spook them heavily or like accidentally like bump him with the bait right and then he ended up just eating it right out of the bottom i was just like hardly moving it and also i could just feel when i went to lift once i could feel weight on the rod those fish will those fish will dig that bait right out of the bottom these little foam mats are nice even when you're not overnight camping As you can see i got my camera gear on them over there my batteries i like to keep my dakotas off of the ice i think that's a big thing to just kind of keep your batteries off of the ice milk crate is really good for the flasher i keep my buddy heater by or on one of these as well just to help uh, stop some of the melt type of thing on the ice and then this one right here is just to kind of keep your feet off the ice and keep them a little bit warmer in that sense well that will wrap up our bite today sadly it wasn't amazing I'll be honest, we are leaving before prime time today. It's minus like 35 today. And the Ranger is having a little bit difficult starting. I do have a booster pack and whatnot, so we'll be okay in that sense, but we're, we're playing it safe, right? We're gonna pack it all up here, probably about an hour and a half before prime time. So we are missing the best part of the day in my opinion, but safety first, always. Carter and Adam both caught some good fish today, like a couple 25, 26 inches. 
but nothing that we uh, ran the camera over to in this cold type of thing to worry about that. So those two will be on some more videos in the future very soon. Like I said, the link to the description where we're staying is below in this video. It's a great location to fish, Last Mountain Lake. It's a really nice Airbnb. I highly recommend it. And yeah, oh, today's rods, Frostbite True Grit. Uh, did I catch any on the smoke show? No, just the Frostbite True Grit with the 1000 size uh, diesel and 10 pound uh, Suffix 832 ice braid with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I used that uh, 10 gram Hyperglide all day. It was awesome. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside.